Hey, what's going on guys? So here back again for the Bodybuilding 101 series and we are about ready to get started with video 5. Let's do a quick review as always just to see if you're paying attention. First video is the intro to what it's about, what bodybuilding consists of. Second video is what are the judging criteria, uh, what are the judges looking for. Third video is what to take to compete and the fourth video are what are some things you can do to accelerate the process. Now, this fifth video is talking about the different categories, you know, whether it's, you know, male or female and the different options they have based on body type and preference. So, uh, this is going to break this down, have some pictures, you can see the differences. So, again, I appreciate the feedback. If you enjoy this video, like it, share it, look below, you can look at any other previous videos and uh, continue to stay tuned for more of the Bodybuilding 101 series. We'll talk to you soon. Who can compete? Obvious answers, anyone. Anyone can get on stage. Um, again, having been in the sport for over 25 years, I've seen you know people as, as young teens compete, look amazing. I've seen, I think the oldest person I've seen compete was 68 maybe 72 it looked phenomenal i know a lot of 20 year olds would have loved this physique but you know anybody can compete you know i've seen people with you know missing limbs i've seen people have lost 100 pounds you know i've seen people who were born to be a competitor they were born to be on stage thank goodness somebody said something to them because they just walk on stage and i almost feel sorry for them they win the whole thing but anybody can compete there are many categories now to compete so I'll go through them real quickly this right here this is women's physique I've purposefully put different pictures of different categories as uh, as uh, examples um, so for women you start off you've got women's bodybuilding okay which women's physique is basically the same as women's bodybuilding poses are a little different but the physique itself is really about the same it's just that I think it's honestly people like the term women's physique better than women's bodybuilding. So um, you've got figure, women's figure. You still have the muscle, but not quite as muscular as say the women's physique. You've got typically you've got big delts, a wide back, a little waist, and you've got good glutes and good legs. Okay, very symmetrical figure is really a lot about symmetry because your poses are just the quarter turns. Okay, so. Another category for women is bikini. Now, bikini is a softer look than figure, still have the muscle, still have the leanness and the conditioning, but not to the same extent as figure, okay? Things that bikini is judged on, I mean, obviously all the other things are there, symmetry, muscularity, presentation, but presentation is big on bikini, okay? You gotta have the sass in bikini, okay? It's just part of it, it's classy, it's, sass, it's classy sassy, but it's still sassy. Um, bikini, a lot is, is centered on glutes and legs. So if somebody comes in, they don't have a lot of upper body mass, but they have a nice tight waist, you know, well-rounded glutes, you know, good legs, they're probably bikini, okay? Um, so that's the different classes, uh, categories for women. Um, for men, you've got traditional bodybuilding. Again, that's the big muscles, very uh, uh, symmetrical, small waist, uh, low body fat, shredded, everything's there, okay? You also now have classic physique. Classic physique is kind of the same as what women's physique is to women's bodybuilding. Classic physique is still very muscular uh, and, and still very symmetrical, but a little bit not as massive as the men's bodybuilding. Um, it also has a little bit more emphasis on posing. The idea behind it is bring back the classic look. So you've got a lot of people that are, you know, the classical poses. You've got smaller uh, uh, size, but very, very symmetrical. And then in men, you've got men's physique, okay? This is the board shorts. These are, this is for the guys who maybe don't have the legs, but they're very upper body dominant, okay? They've got nice, nice abs, you know, uh, they, the typical beach body, okay? And hey, you know what, this category is for them. So you put the board shorts on and then you go up again for the men's physique, you just do the quarter turns, similar to figure, okay? So that's what men's physique is. So somebody has, you know, great packs, big arms, nice six pack, they're probably good for men's physique. So again, when I say anyone, there really is a category for anyone. So 
when I work with people and I, as a judge or a coach or whatever, that's one of the first things I'm looking at is where do they fit? Where do they fall in in those categories? And just because you start off in men's physique or maybe women's figure doesn't mean you're stuck there for the rest of your life. You know, I've seen a, a, a bikini competitor go full circle. You know, she steps on stage in bikini because she's new to the sport. She starts putting on muscle, getting leaner, symmetry is awesome. She goes into figure. And then she eventually goes into women's physique. You know, whatever. So it doesn't mean you're always that person. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video series of Bodybuilding 101. If you did, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned. Additional videos are coming. And remember, keep making an impact.